Hey what's up guys, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back uh, in Truck and Logistics Manager and today we'll be trying out some of the new update that has recently come out. So they've had a really big update to this game uh, which is quite significant. Uh, there's loads of new stuff to do, lots of new jobs and uh, lots of new cars and uh, let's say a much bigger map. So let's just start by taking you through some of the changes that they've made. So you'll recognize some of the cars that are in the uh, in the menu that we've got here. Um, you'll notice that there's some new jobs down the left hand side here. Um, the available missions now is apparently something that is new um, to, the, uh, to the update. So you'll notice that you can have an escort, um, uh, sort of car. You can also have caravans. Uh, there's now a skid steer, um, as well as all the generators and stuff like that. So um, let's show you some of the other cars that we've got. So we'll start at the beginning. So they've given you a, a new kind of like, well, it's supposed to be an Audi, I guess, it's supposed to be like a, an RS3 or an S3. Um, obviously, you've got the traditional um, A7 that they had before, or S7. Um, got the Range Rover Evoque now, and a Ford Mustang. So if you needed to uh, to tow, I don't know, a caravan sideways into a crowd of people, then the Mustang is, is the car for you. Um, there's other new things like obviously the pickups and uh, stuff are uh, new. So you've got like a, I don't know what this is, it's an American pickup, probably a Chevy or something like that. Um, vans are still the same, so you've still got that one. You've also now got the Volkswagen uh, Transporter, like T5, um, as well as the older style one and panel vans so you've got the transit high roof you've got the man so they're i think very similar you've got drop sides so you've still got the volkswagen and the transit and then rigid trucks you've got uh, as i say you've got the the box truck uh, dump truck and i guess that kind of looks like some sort of freezer truck but i think it's it's similar i think it's just got more axles than the other one hasn't it uh oh no maybe not there you go. it looks bigger um You've also got some new trucks, um, so you've got new missions on the trucks, that one there, uh, Scania, Scania Twin Axle at the back, MAN, and the American one that we had before. Um, finally, I would say you've still got the um, still got the monster truck. So, as you can see with the different missions, apparently you can tow a caravan with the monster truck. Um, I'd love to see that, maybe not for today, but we'll, we'll have a go at that at some point. So what I want to try and do is, today, is try and do the car transporter one. So you'll notice there's a new button here now which says test drive, so you don't actually have to buy the truck in order to take it or the car to take it out for a drive and try out in one of the missions, but it does give you the ability to try, sort of try before you buy almost. So. Um, Let's have a look. So I think uh, that one will probably do. We'll, we'll use the uh, we'll use one of the ones that we've got. I don't think it matters. Uh, it doesn't matter what load it's got. That one there can take the four by fours or the pickup trucks. That can take pickup trucks or cars. So I'm guessing it's down to power or something maybe. Um, so uh, let's do that. So quite fancy trying the, uh, the the pickup one. So let's jump into this one and then we'll try and find ourselves a mission. Alright guys, so here we are. So we're um, set up by a logistics centre, so apparently this is a caravan one as well as a car one. Um, so we're just going to head on over to the um, sort of area just behind us. Hopefully we can... Yeah, good. So controller support is now working, so we can uh, we can use the games controller instead of use the keyboards. I've got to remember, there we go, that's how you use reverse. There we go. Alright, cool. So let's head on over to our little dot here we're not having a caravan so hoping this is one with an actual transporter but if it's not oh there we go perfect so as you can see these are the different missions that you can do with this one so yeah, as I mentioned you've got the ones with the evoke uh, the ones uh, with the pickup trucks the Audi ones and then you've also got things like the loaders and um, some new bits so yeah so in terms of the new missions just so you know the, the, the new missions that are available in this particular one was the car transporter the skid steer loading rubble which I'm guessing is into one of the D dump trucks um, caravan transport which we mentioned um, transporting the tele handler, handler so that's uh, uh, that one there, I guess. Um, the uh, transporting of skid steer loaders, which we don't have in this one. Um, the forklift transport, so 
I guess that's, a, that's a, probably a van one. Um, generator trailer and ISO truck. So I'm guessing that's that one there, transport. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the new bits. Obviously we've seen all the new cars. Um, I say the map itself has been extended by almost eight kilometers. So that's uh, uh, twice as big as the original map. So yeah, I say there's, um, there's some bits to do. So let's, um, I think we'll do the short one today. So let's pick on that one there. Cool. So this will hopefully uh, load us up into a transporter, um, and it, I'm sure it will tell us what we need to do. So there we go. So that is said transporter. So we need to, uh, I guess we load that one maybe. There we go. There we go. There, that. there we go. So drops that down. Drops out the. It's a lot of scrolling. There we go. All this just for the mouse. There we go. So we've got the first one to put on. So let's start her up. Head on round did not leave us very much space to get this on um, as we parked it right next to the head, the fence there but uh, yeah, let's try not to damage this as we put it on so you can see the little green lights glowing as uh, as as we head on up so uh, there we go, let's try and get it in the lines I'm guessing it will strap it down for us when we get there so let's stop, there we go okay, I'm guessing that, that was all good so there we go, let's put the next one on I don't know, where did the truck go? Oh, the truck's all the way over there. So despite parking in the middle, it's pushed it all the way to the other side. So let's try and put this on here. So, okay, there we go. Trying to fall off the other side. There we go, and we, we get, there we go. So if this, so is this gonna go? Okay, yes, there's one more space on here. So this is probably the trickiest one because it's on a bit of an angle. Um, you can reverse this on. No, just drive on. You see the arrows. All right, oh, that's that was badly done. That was very badly put on. All right, so there we go. We, uh, don't. Okay, technically we may have just smashed that into the one in front, but that's fine. It, no one will notice. Um, all right, there we go. There we go. Oh, cool. All loaded on. So got the first three on there. Um, so let's lift the back. There we go. Put that up, and then I guess yet yeah, raise that up. This is not easy. This is done purely on the mouse, so this is quite difficult. Try to get there. All right, that's the next one. All right, and put this one on next. No, we crashed it into the trailer. No, I'm not doing this very well so far. Um, God, I don't do this for a living. All right, that's on, and then let's that there and there we go All right we keep getting more cars added there's another one there why why is there another one there we don't we've I'm sure we've only got one more space on this transport well maybe we've got two we might get another one it's a very fetching color orange isn't it All right on and it's starting to get dark so it looks like we're gonna be doing this in the dark I might have to change the time because I don't fancy loading these in the dark. And this is the last one. There we go. All right. And we go. I must admit, I'm missing my obligatory high vis jacket for loading these things up. There we go. All right. So that's perfect. So that loads everything on. And then it just kind of connects everything up. So we go. Uh, headlights. Right, let's go connect this up, and then we'll work out where we've got to go. We should have checked on the map. As I say, as I mentioned, the bigger map does add uh, a lot more jobs to this, a lot more sort of variety, I guess, longer jobs, which we didn't have before. Um, which is, I think, is good. It adds a bit more uh, longevity to this game. Um, let's go back. not quite right okay let's try and do this without having to massively disconnect the trailer all right there we go so that should there we go that's connected up so we are loaded up we've got all our lights on everything's tied down properly hopefully nothing moves as we're driving around although some of those are pretty close together that one there is at the bottom is pretty close as is that one to the car behind i'm sure if it was to uh, move at all during uh, during transport it would probably uh, uh, probably at some point maybe catch the one behind but we'll see um, I'm gonna do this in 
third person view because I can't don't think it's uh, going to be ideal to use it in the other way got to remember which side of the road we drive on in this game pretty sure it's the wrong side of the road for the UK cool there we go so, I didn't see a, a distance I know it was a few thousand uh, meters so hopefully um, that's fine nice white swing so apparently they've also added oh god look we've got a broken truck already um, not sure this is going to help us today and I don't know how he got there but he's there um, okay good job I don't want to break my truck by trying to go round him but he seems to be having a bit of a moment so let's go this way and then we'll have to go this way so let's take a wide swing right now so first challenge of today um, a uh, truck having somewhat of a flip out on the on the uh, on the side there but that's all right we we got round it that's okay all right so we're going left here good we've got the right way let's find this car come in there we go that's not quite working the way it should but that's that let's try not to hit the curbs all right and then we're going left so take a wide swing here okay of course the trucks can go Take a left here. Let's let this car go first because he was not stopping. I don't know who's got right away. I think he had anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll go round and then we're going right again. How are we doing for fuel? Find the lamppost. Okay, there you go. And then yeah, I think we're about half tank fuel, so we should be okay for fuel for the trip down. Alright, and then we're left here. So I'm really having to concentrate here, so I'm not really uh, I'm conscious that I'm not chatting too much. It's just it's uh, a little bit bigger than uh, than w what we're used to, and uh, the darkness is not helping. So, do you know what? I'm going to do this. There you go. That's better. Let's make it daytime again. I know that's cheating, but I don't really want to do this at night anyway. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it'll help us, I'm sure, with, uh, with this delivery and uh, help me not to try and crash into things so so yeah so i think i say loads of bits and pieces apparently there is uh, moving boats and ships um and a new tunnel in this as well which we've yet to explore um i must admit it's been so long since i've been in this game that i can't remember exactly which bit of the map is new and which isn't so i guess we'll find out as we're going along um but yeah i think it's good to be back i, I will try some of the other missions um in future episodes we'll try at least the caravan one um I think uh, it's only right that we can try and tow that with either a pickup truck or a Range Rover or a, a drop side um, truck because you know uh, hashtag traveller life. Um, no, it'd be good to uh, good to try it with something and uh, yeah, try that one. And then obviously you've got the other ones which is like the uh, you know the compressor and, uh, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it'd be good to uh, good to get that. Right, we seem to be falling down the hill somewhat, but. This is a tight turn, so probably isn't the easiest thing to get around, but we'll try. Hopefully it's not hitting the wall too much. Damage bar doesn't seem to be changing, so I'm guessing we're okay, although this is not the easiest thing to manoeuvre around with a controller. Oh, that's fine. We're good. We're good. We're round. That's the main thing. Okay, under the bridge. And there we go. Cool. So I've got roundabout. So where are we going at the roundabout? Okay. Apparently this roundabout doesn't exist according to the map. Uh, yeah, according to the map this is a junction. So, um, okay, tricky. We'll go round. I'm well, probably going to end up cutting the roundabout, but that is, uh, that is the joys of this uh, this particular thing. So, let's go round. Cool. All right, so it looks like we're kind of at our depot point at the garage. So, you can see some cars on display out the front. Um, so I'm guessing this is where we are going to end up. Oh, there's the uh, wow. Okay, that's the trailer parking. So this is uh, this is going to be fun. All right, let's make sure there's nothing coming. Don't want to lose uh, any damage points before we uh, before we stop. Let's try to hit their own stock while we're going around. Cool. There we go. All right, so let's try and back this in without ruining everything. All right, so. Let's go that way. Okay, 
This is taking a lot of concentration. Too much concentration for my liking. Um, right, messing this up. And there we go. Round. Okay, so hitbox on that wall is slightly bigger than I expected. Alright, let's straighten up and try again. So that way we go. Oh, let's go back like that. And then just squidge it around a little bit. I love the fact that this is the trickiest part of this mission. I managed to uh, get here without hitting any pedestrians or cars like, like normal. Um, and this is the bit that troubles me the most. Actually physically parking it up. Alright, cool. There we go. Hopefully. Is that okay? There we go, perfect. So, got that in. So, uh, yeah, so as you can see there, we've uh, we completed two and a half uh, kilometers. Um, we got a fragile cargo bonus, so that's good. We loaded and parked uh, all well, and we didn't damage the cargo. We didn't damage it at all, actually, so that's pretty good. So, in true, um, car transporter fashion. I'm going to go into the dealership and use the toilet and drink their coffee and leave a surprise for them in the toilet. So uh, let's head on over to another one. We'll try a quick caravan job while we're here as well, um, just to uh, just to see how that one gets on. Just wanted to try out the new minivan, new uh, VW kind of transporter type thing. Um, so we've got the caravan mission. So effectively, I've taken this one for a test drive because I didn't particularly want to buy it just for the sake of this mission. So um, we've got a caravan behind us. So chose the biggest caravan that I could find, true uh, traveller fashion. Decided to pick the largest one uh, with the seats all covered in plastic and everything. Um, so let's reverse up to it. You can see you've got little ones there, and then the, the one that's slightly better modelled is the uh, one that we'll be using today. So let's try and connect up without smashing into it. I don't know how long this mission is, so it just gives you a test drive mission, so I don't know uh, how long, but uh, yeah, we'll find out, I suppose. There we go. Attach that. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, so as you can see, nice big old caravan, twin axle. Um, kind of like a European style caravan so I don't know let's have a look and see if I can see on a map see how far we got so yeah short mission so you can see just like over the bridge and then up to the caravan site that's on the hill so it uh, won't take too long uh, in today's by the looks of it so let's head on out of here so each one of these cargoes kind of handles slightly different um, you can feel the uh, when driving this one that it feels a bit more uh, heavier because obviously it's a smaller car and a heavy load whereas obviously on the truck it's just like any old cargo so um, let's find uh, that one. That's perfect. So there's nothing coming. So take a left out of here. It does seem to, um, when you pull away and, and sort of pivot at this, it does seem to turn a little bit unrealistic. It does seem to sort of move quite far around the, the sort of the, the main ball um, connection. Um, it seems to pivot there where really it should. Uh, I guess probably move slightly slightly differently. Maybe it's just some something that I've just I'm doing wrong, but right, the car's sinking into the ground, so let's join back onto the motorway. Be good to see what this is like um, in terms of graphics for no, graphics for sorry uh, in terms of controls for things like high speed because obviously in real life a caravan can sometimes um, sort of move around or snake or whatever um, which it doesn't it seems to get a bit of a wobble on as you're going down the road so you can sort of see the tail wagging a little bit as you're going along but it seems to straight, straighten itself up um, I must admit I've not really noticed speed so this is probably way too fast for a caravan but it's uh, um, yeah it's all right for the minute so all right let's head down so yeah I'm gonna I think it's turning to night again this game will not let me do, do any of these jobs in the day so let's put the lights on there we go took my eyes off the road for a second uh, and then ended up nearly crashing into the the, uh, the barrier cool so there we go let's head down perfect and we're taking a right here so is there a, oh, there's a car coming that's why that car stopped perfect and then let's take a right here make sure something coming no nope, we look good oh and then round we go oh, we'll cut the corner there sorry never mind right so heading up the hill so this might struggle a little bit because i say this is uh 
not probably well it will tow it but it's probably not the ideal tow car for this probably one of the pickup trucks or uh, something would have been slightly better a bit more power um, for this but it'll do for the minute um, although it does mean we're probably going to end up parking this thing up in the dark which will be fun um, I have tried one of these uh, caravan missions in, in, in the past and uh, just before recording this video and uh, yeah it didn't go so well let's just leave it at that we'll see if we can get better second time around but yeah it wasn't uh, wasn't the greatest to park in so um, I think I ended up hitting two of the caravans either side so it's a good thing I don't tow one of these in real life I'd turn up at caravan site and about half the people alongside me would suddenly decide to leave um, or the other half would be inside my caravan all right cool let's wait for this car to go and then we're heading left here so let's head on up this field Cool. So you can see there, oh cool, we're right next to the uh, right next to the campfire. So not only have we got a risk of hitting things, we've got a risk of setting this thing on fire. Um, all right. So probably oh, and and a lake as well. There we go. So yeah, see if we can't um, not flood this caravan. So let's go backwards and then uh, try and remember all my controls. There we go. Does doesn't half move a little bit too much I think but it'd be fine we'll head through let's go around let's go around and then that should be fine hopefully it should start to turn he says no wrong way wrong way oh okay that was that wasn't quite in the right spot yet the mission decided it was going to be uh, it was going to be done for me so um as you can see we don't because it was a test drive we don't actually get any money um we do get some bonus for parking but um yeah we don't get anything for uh, uh for, for damaging the cargo either so it's kind of just a you know i guess just a uh, you know a test mission so you can see if you like the car so um, yeah obviously that's a couple of the updates um, I think we'll try the next uh, couple in another episode so um, we'll kind of leave it for there guys so um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first look at the new updates of truck and logistics simulator uh, if they have liked the video uh, please do smash that like button um, and if you have enjoyed it and aren't already subscribed to the channel then uh, please click the subscribe button uh, don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when new episodes come out as I said last video we are are aiming for uh, 500 subscribers as our next goal uh, we are currently at uh, 479 as of uh, the time of recording this video so thank you to all of you that are subscribing to the channel um, and as always guys if there's any questions queries comments or suggestions for future episodes or series uh, on the channel then please do put that in the comment section down below but yeah guys thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye